Today we're going to talk about layering and masking stamps. So there are a couple different ways that you can layer, um, but in this example you can see that I have this large flower that's in the foreground and then I placed one behind it and one behind the two of them. Now of course if you were to stamp one flower over another you would end up with these intersecting lines and that's not what we want. We want to place them behind each other and so that is what we're going to learn today and how to do that with some masking. So here's the stamps we have today. They're all florals. There's actually two different sets here. One of them I don't even have the packaging for anymore. It is these um, some of these little ones here. I've used them so often, I've, I've worn them pretty good. Here is the other package that I've got. It's, it's also got some very uh, whimsical flowers, and so I'm gonna use a mixture of the two of them. A part of layering is that you can get stamps that layer on top of each other. So for example, this one has a background stamp, which you would use a color with so you would color this and then you would put your detailed stamp over the top of it so it's two particular stamps to create one image and that is one way or one way that you can layer your stamps I do have some of those here I've in this row right here I've got background stamps and the matching um, a detailed stamp that goes on top of it. Now this one I don't have a detailed stamp for, but for the rest of these, even this little guy here has a background and a detail stamp. And then I've added a few more others here that are just, uh, I'm going to include in what we're doing today. One of the ways that we can use our layered stamps is like they are typically I mean, what you would assume is how they would be used. So that would be like a background color with a detail over the top of it, okay? But I want to take a look at um, some of the other ways that you can also layer stamps. So this is how you would normally purchase it to be used, but I want you to think about outside the box. How can you use all of these stamps, right? All of these particular ones to create something even a little bit more complex than just what is meant to be. So that is how I started with this I would call it a sampler page and you can make your own sampler pages with the stamps that you have. You can try different colors, you can try different textures, that sort of thing. So, so here we've got the background and the foreground stamp and I added this little tiny dotted, I don't even, I don't think you can even see it. Um, um, but it is this little dotted guy here, which makes great a great center. This is a background and a completely different floral stamp. So that is this one, but I love to use this one for the center of my stamps. They look like poppies or maybe just, um, I don't know, you could be creative with that. Here's another one where I use that center, but I use a different background, a different color. So this is the uh, this background and detailed stamp. And I've got different colors and different details. Again, I use this little dotted guy in the middle of him. Um, this, uh, this leaf stamp we have here. So I use this background but I use different options and some of them I might decide I don't really like those, but I kind of like that one and I definitely like that one. But again, this is the whole point of experimenting so that you can decide 
I really like this and I really like this and I really like that. So I'll pull these elements out to do a Bible journaling page. So just to encourage you to do your own sample pages with the stamps that you have, you might get some really cool ideas. And then today we're going to use something. This is an example that I did, but we're going to do like a variation of this on a Bible page. So let's get started. To begin, I'm going to block some of these uh, stamps that I would like to be able to use. So I have a variety of sizes. Again, you can find sets of blocks that are really pretty inexpensive online. So I'm going to kind of go from this, the largest to the smallest. And actually, that's the wrong way. And I'll just flip and put the other one on the other side. A mask is simply a covering for a stamp. Uh, uh, I'm going to journal on this particular page. It's I have not pre prepped this page at all because I'm using pigment inks and they don't have a tendency to bleed as badly. But I did mask with this little bit of washi tape because I would like some text here. So I didn't mask that off so we don't print on top of that space that I want for text. Uh, as far as a mask for your flowers go, I'll show you, we, well, you can make it out of any sort of paper. I like to use a post-it note because it has a sticky side on the top of it. And when you cut your mask out of the post-it note on the sticky side this has a tendency then to be able to stick to your paper and to your artwork so that it's not moving around as you're working so that's just a, a tip so i have um i have already done a stamp on top of this for example, like this, and fussy cutted these out. Now, what I tend to do is when I package up my stamps again, I will just stick this right in the package, and that way I don't have to fussy cut it, fussy cut it every single time that I want to do some stamping. It's already in there and ready to go. So that is what a mask is. It's just like you have a mask that covers your face, we are going to create masks to cover our flowers. And just so you know, you don't have to create a mask for every single stamp. I will show you how to use these with smaller stamps so that you're not spending all of your time cutting, okay? So we're gonna set our masks aside because those are the two big ones that we're going to use. Now in this sample, I have one main stamp that is the, the centerpiece and everything else is different sizes different shapes and they're kind of off to the side kind of sporadically however you want to look at that whatever direction we're just going to use um, uh, a centerpiece here maybe i'll stick it off to this side and then do some smaller ones up here and some smaller ones down here. So it won't look exactly like this, but this is our inspiration. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to use this, this one. I don't even know what kind of flower you would say that is, but in any case, I'm gonna use this stamp. I'm gonna ink it up really good and pop it on here and you want to press down in the center because that's where it wants to um, resist a little bit and off to the side I usually have a rag that's um, damp so that I can wipe those on there right away to clean those off and then we're going to go right over the top of that with a black to begin with so you can tell on each of these when they are made for each other that they have places where you can line them up. And so I will do my best to do that. 
And again, try to get in the center so that you get the detail in the center. All right. And let's keep going. Here's how we're going to mask. So again, you take that picture, you layer it right over the top of it. So anytime you do some more stamping around this, this mask is going to protect it from any other sort of lines that would normally go over the top. It's kind of like what we were talking about. You're actually masking off this area so that you don't get your duplicate lines on there. Okay, so next, so now that we have our mask on, we're going to move to, let's do this guy. All right, and I'm gonna do a couple of these. I'll do them in orange. And I'm gonna put one up here and another down here. Okay. And just like on this sample, I'm going to use something different than this is what is what we we're given. But I'm going to use something different on those in the center. Let's do this this guy. I love this guy. I don't even know what that is, but again, you can put it right in the center. You can make it a little bit off center to make it look like it is uh, leaning left or right. Okay. And then we'll keep moving. So let's choose a smaller version. Actually, let's choose a leaf. So we'll do a leaf. We'll get some leaves in there. We'll get them going up and down. Okay, so now we have this particular one and we need to mask it off. So here's the thing. I could make sure that it's exactly in the right position. This one is generally pretty good. So I'm gonna, if I want my leaf to come out in this direction, as long as these two are covered, we're good, right? So I'm gonna put my leaf on there and we do another one going in the other direction. Okay, and I'll do some black. And now we have that. So this leaf and the flower are not um, colliding together as they would here, you masked this off and you were able to go over the edges of it with something different. So again, when we pull this off, now we have something totally different, okay? I'm gonna leave this one on here. As long as we don't need to use it anywhere else right now, I'm just gonna let that go. I'm gonna put this mask up on the top. We'll work up here. I think I'll just do one leaf up here. So this isn't lined up. I don't, I don't mind that. It doesn't bother me. I have this flower that's a little bit smaller and I'm gonna do this one in the purple. So it's going to be more of like an accent color or an accent flower. And I don't have a, I don't have a leaf mask set up right now. So I'm just going to keep going around. Otherwise, let's see if we can do this. Put this one down here. Okay. I wanna show you how 
instead of making another mask for this little tiny flower, you can actually use a bigger one like this to, let's see, where is, So you can use a bigger leaf to cover a little flower. That means you don't need to make an extra mask. And I'm gonna go like this. And let's see, I'll go this way down here. And again, I'm going to use a big leaf or a big petal to cover a whole flower. Okay. So let's see, I'll leave that on there. Let's do, okay, let's cover the center of the flowers. Now this little teeny tiny dotted one is so small, it won't even stay on a stamp block. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and stamp this guy out here. So I'll create the center of all these little purple flowers. Ooh. Okay, that one didn't turn out quite right. It's all right. Again, this is just a reminder that when things don't turn out perfect, God doesn't care that they're not perfect. This is about you spending time with him, creating like he's you know, he created you to be creative. And so you can just spend time with him doing just that. Okay, the big reveal. All right, we're gonna call that done. Now you could add more color, different colors, different color palette, however you wanna do it. You could do, do some drawing. You could outline some of these purple flowers the purple looks really pink, doesn't it? Okay, so I took off the washi tape mask and I'm, I'm just going to box out this space. Okay, so I'm going to just mark my verse and write it off to the side. Okay. And then maybe I'll just add some little whimsical lines around here. So essentially that is a very simple illustration of how you can do layering and masking with your stamp sets. Thanks for watching.